hey y'all welcome back you can already see what i'm doing in this video from the title um it's currently 11 p.m right now and i'm actually not cooking until tomorrow but i do like to marinate my meat so i'm gonna show you guys how i do that these are the oxtails uh, i've just thawed them out in water and vinegar and now they're ready to go so let's go so these are the oxtails just enough for one person these are the seasonings that i like to use of course this varies from person to person do whatever you like but this is what i like So they're marinated and ready to go. So I just covered it with some plastic wrap and I'm gonna sit it in the refrigerator until tomorrow. So it's 1.30 p.m. I just took my crock pot out and I'm about to let it warm up um, because it takes anywhere from like six to eight hours for the oxtails to get tender. So while that's warming up, I'm gonna cut up the carrots, potatoes, onions, and all of that stuff. So we have one third of an onion, half a pepper, four red potatoes, a couple of cloves of garlic, and two carrots. I'm about to chop all of this up, and this is all going in the crock pot with the oxtail. Okay, so everything is chopped up and ready to go. The crock pot is warm. Uh, oxtails are at room temperature. And we're ready to go. So in addition to this going in the crock pot, I'm also gonna put more of this. If you guys remember, I marinated with that. And also with this. <clears throat> and I'm also gonna add some brown sugar. And that's just gonna create the sauce. Okay guys, so it's about 5.30. I put the oxtails in here at 2 p.m. So we're almost halfway there. So at the halfway mark, is when you start preparing the collard greens because they take about three to four hours. So to prepare the greens, I just get the water boiling first. So I have a pot and I'm about to fill it up. Okay, so I filled my pot up about halfway and I'm also going to take some vinegar because I like vinegar in my greens. And I'm just gonna pour that. I'm just eyeballing it. I'm just eyeballing everything, really. Y'all know how we do. So I have the pot of water on a stove. I'm just gonna turn this on high and get the water boiling. Um, and then once the water starts boiling, I'm gonna add my turkey legs. Some people do ham, some people do bacon, some people do turkey, whatever you like. Okay, and while that's boiling, I'm gonna clean my collard. So these are the collards. But before I start cleaning, First things first, I have to chop this bottom half, all these stems off. So I'm gonna go do that and then I'll be back. The collars are cut, I cut the stem off and now it's time to clean them. So for cleaning the greens, I'm just gonna take a basin, fill it up with cold water and then I'm gonna take the greens and swish them around in the water and I'm gonna keep doing this until the water is no longer dirty. So if you can see the water, it's kind of brown or green, but I just keep doing that until it's clear. And I believe it took about four or five rinses until the water was completely clear. So 
So after they're cleaned, then I cut the stem in the middle and I do that by folding the greens and then just cutting that line as you can see. So I'm gonna do the rest and then come back. Okay, so the water is boiling. Now I'm about to add the turkey leg. So we're gonna let this boil for about 45 minutes to an hour. So I'll come back at 6.45. Okay, so it's seven o'clock. I just decided to boil it for an hour instead of 45 minutes. And it looks like it's starting to fall off the bone by itself. So it's obviously ready. So I took the turkey leg out. I'm gonna chop that up and add it back in later. And now I'm about to put the greens in the pot. And I'm gonna boil these for about an hour and a half. So it's 7.05, I'll be back at 8.30. Okay, so it's 8.30. Let's see what's going on. Um, I mean, they're still a little tough. So, I'm gonna let those boil for 30 more minutes. And now I'm gonna start the macaroni. So I'm just gonna fill this pot up, boil it, and boil the noodles. And then I'll come back and show you guys how I do the cheese part. So the noodles just finished boiling, as you can see with all this steam coming from it. So I just put it in the pan that I'm gonna be baking it in. And um, while they're hot, I'm gonna add some butter, um, some, no, I'm not gonna add that yet. Sour cream and salt and pepper. Now for the cheese sauce, I add some butter, let that sit in the pan, and then I'm going to take the heavy cream that you guys saw in the last scene and add that. Some people use heavy cream, some people use whipping cream, some people use milk. Use whatever, that's just to get the cheese sauce. Um, so then I add cheese. Um, I use cheddar, cheddar jack, and gouda. I believe, but I mean, of course, just use whatever cheeses you like. And then I just keep adding cheese and adding cream until I get the texture that I want. So I just left it on the stove until it got the texture that I wanted it to be. So now I'm gonna add the cheese sauce to the macaroni. Okay. Now I'm about to put my macaroni in the pan and get it ready for baking. Now I like to layer my macaroni. And what I mean by that is, I'll put enough in this pan for one layer. And then you can never have too much cheese. So I'm gonna layer it with salt, pepper. I cut up 
some block cheese. This is Kobe Jack. And I'm going to put some of these blocks in the gap. Okay, and then I'm gonna take these cheeses. And layer that. I love cheesy macaroni. Now this pan is ready to go in the oven and I'm gonna leave it in there for about 15 minutes or until I see this cheese starting to melt. Everything else is ready. So we're just waiting on the macaroni, the greens, looking good. The oxtails, um, I put them on low at nine. So that means that they were on high for seven hours and now they're just on low waiting for the macaroni to finish. They're tender, I've already checked them. So yeah, this is the macaroni 20 minutes later. Okay guys, so this is everything finished. The food looks great. And then I also grabbed a cola champagne. If you don't know what that is, just try it. So excuse that noise in the background, that's my dryer but um i finally finished cooking it is 10 06 right now i started at two so it took me about eight hours to cook the whole meal which i pretty much said from the beginning i said the oxtails took anywhere from six to eight hours so i was pretty on point with that but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm starving this food looked good and i'm about to crush so i'll see you in my next video